The world has changed a lot, but our education system or our learning system has not changed much. Do you agree with me? Come on, just by using a digital projector or a smart board is not going to bring the change in your learning. Myself Shaker presenting you a brand new and innovative teaching methods which will let you fall in love with engineering and it will also help you to crack any exam, gate, ESC, transport, Zenco, any state government, central government jobs, any job you can crack it very easily with the help of our 3D animations, live demonstrations and interacting and interesting simulations, specially designed tools which will not only clear your concepts but also let you fall in love with the learning and explore the beauty of engineering. Check the link in the description to get a 365 days free trial course. Yes, absolutely free trial course for 365 days. Check the link in the description. Happy learning and enjoy learning. Hi everyone. <clears throat> Praveen is saying, according to Ohm's, voltage is proportional to current, but according to power equation, it is inversely proportional. Please clarify. What's that? According to power. Okay. Uh, that's, uh, can somebody clarify uh, Praveen's question? He is having this question is, you know, let me let me put this question in a different way. Some people will say, yeah, exactly, absolutely, Ohm's law if you take, but if you apply that Ohm's law to a transformer generally, you know, for a transformer, let us see. If voltage increases, current will increase, isn't it? So, but in case of a step up transformer, this question, a lot of students have asked me this question. Once it is a step up transformer. Voltage is increased at the secondary side, isn't it? But what will happen to the current? Current will be reduced. So as per the Ohm's law, as Praveen is saying, if uh, voltage and current are proportional according to Ohm's, it's not Praveen's statement, it's rather George Ohm's statement. Okay. So he says voltage is increasing, so current has to be proportionally increased. But there, current is decreasing. Okay. So is why 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 not Ohm's law is not getting applied there? That's that's what your question, you know. People put up this question to me a lot of times. So this question also what Pravin is asking is similar kind. Okay. So yeah, Dinesh has put up very interesting point here. I must say, because of uh, maybe uh, chatting, maybe uh, typing issue, we must have answered shortly but I understood what Dinesh is trying to say he's absolutely right okay if somebody can explain it a little bit yeah okay you can you can do that yep that's uh, because power remains constant in a transformer yeah that's true just because but uh, is, is Ohm's law is Ohm's law has lost its uh, presence there means is Ohm's law gone Ohm's law is violated you are saying power is constant that's fine just because power is constant so, oh, voltage is increasing, so current is decreasing. Does it mean it is violating Ohm's law? Is that the point? That's what a lot of questions, a lot of students have asked me this question. Yeah, you can, you can try answering this. That's going to be an interesting session. Because KVA must be constant. Yeah, that's true, dear. That's true, Anurag. But the question here is what? Is it violating Ohm's law? That's the question. Is it violating whatever? Constant power, constant apparent power. But is it uh, at a cost of violation of Ohm's law? Is it that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I'm looking for some of some interesting guys should give me the answer. They're having some technical issues here. Yeah. yeah, one again. Yeah. yeah, meanwhile. No, not at all. Ohm's law is not violated. Yes, that's true. Anurag, that's true. Ohm's law is not violated, but according to your statement, you know, voltage is increasing, current is decreasing, means it appears like Ohm's law is violated. Right? It appears like Ohm's law is violated just because voltage is... Volt now, now tell me, uh, how Ohm's law is still intact there? That's That makes things interesting. Okay? Mm-hmm. Ohm's law is valid either only on secondary side or on primary side, transformer never violated Ohm's law. So why Kaushik either on secondary or on primary, why not both? Both are electrical circuit, right? Primary is also an electrical circuit, secondary also an electrical circuit. So what do you mean by saying that? There is a sense, of course, absolutely for, the, for you. But I want, uh, you know, some real interesting point which Dinesh has made. 
I want little elaboration for that. Somebody, please. This is not your question. I think all of you must be having the same question when I'm explaining this, this portion. This is what a lot of students have put up this question to me. Yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up the video. I told you for the next video what you need to do. Immediately we'll go for the next video the moment we got this video 500 likes or 100 shares. So once the session is over, before you leave the session, share it. Now you hit the thumbs up. Yeah, Shivram, that's true, dear. Yeah, the question is, is it at a cost of violation of Ohm's law? How many of you are having this question? Tell me. How many of you want to know the answer? Or how many of you already know the answer? Tell me. Put it in the comment. Put it in the chat box. Yeah, do it. It is valid for linear elements only. That's true. But we're talking about now present case, you know, what, what sorts of what how 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 you're saying still Ohm's law is intact. He said Ohm's law is not a violation, it's not getting violated. So how is it still intact? How many of you want to know? Put in the comment. Write it in the comment. Write it in the comment. Chat, I mean. Yeah. As transformer is inductive nature, Ohm's law is not applicable only. Inductive nature not applicable? No. It's easy, you can take it as a, it's a constant frequency, right? It's often an impedance. So why, why are you saying in case of an induction, it's not going to happen? Of course, once it is set into saturation, that's all a different story. But for, for now, for, for the sake of simplicity, let's not keep the core into saturation. If Ohm's law is violated, then it opens circuit. I want to know, I want to know, I want to know what is a power factor correction. Okay. I'll not take up any new question. Power factor, all this thing. I'm, I told you, right? That's going to be, that maybe we may, may, may have to discuss in a different session. Okay. Okay, 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 all. I think some of, how many of you know already? How many of you think you know all, all, You know the answer? Meanwhile, I'll set up uh, the answer for you. Like, yeah, oh yeah, they're cool. Okay, change your Change your So, at constant temperature, Ohm's law is valid for at constant temperature. No. Okay, L let's come to the answer. Let's let's come to the answer now. All of you focus on the answer. Don't focus on chatting now. I mean, don't focus on messaging me. Okay, I, I already gave you the chance to message me. You did already, so it's my turn. You listen to me. Okay. Number one, definitely it's not a violation of Ohm's law. It, Ohm's law is still intact. Okay, I'm not considering saturation, but still it is intact. Okay, Ohm's law is still intact. But the question is, how in case of a step up transformer, how many of you watch a step up movie? It's not I'm talking about step up movie, step up transformer. Primary is having, let us take 100 volts. And the secondary is having 1000 volts. So it's definitely, you know, 1 is to 10 transformer. Let us take primary current is, for the sake of simple, I'm taking as 1 ampere. Okay. So secondary current will be how much? Let's take it as 10 amperes. That makes more sense for us, you know, so that we'll deal with easy figures, easy numbers, I mean. So secondary current is equal to how much? 1 ampere. Okay. So some of you rightly said, I think the context might be, you might be thinking would be this. You need to see individually. This is a different circuit. This is a different circuit altogether. And this is a different circuit altogether. There is no electrical connection between these two. There is no electrical connection between primary and secondary. Absolutely no electrical connection. It's a magnetically coupled. Okay. So don't see both these circuits as one circuit you have to see both are two different circuits okay these two are two different electrical circuits now tell me if 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 i cannot suppose some load over here some load means how much how much energy connect yeah for flowing for allowing to the one ampere it should be thousand ohms the moment i connect here thousand ohms definitely um, i is equal to V by R. Voltage is 1000. Current is 1000. So, 1 ampere is flowing. That's what Ohm's law. Voltage is equal to 
don't say sir voltage is increased who said voltage is increased from here to here there is a change in voltage i told you this is a different circuit this is a different circuit in terms of electrical circuits so just look at this that's what uh, one of our user has given you have to see primary and secondary both are two independent circuits okay so 1000 volts it is satisfying now you have to keep one very interesting point in your mind that is when you see a transformer the primary current if you want to find out the primary current how do you find out that you refer this resistance to the primary side okay refer to the primary side refer to the secondary side i think you must be knowing all these uh, all the aspects right so the moment it is referred to the primary side that will offer 10 ohms resistance okay on to the primary side this will offer how much resistance that's what impedance matching the another very important application of a transformer is impedance matching like in case of analog electronics it's a cc configuration common character configuration so this 1000 ohm will become 10 ohms once it is referred to the trans referred to the primary side that's that will make it as 10 ampere so again ohms i check it i is equal to v by r it is still intact okay now why v proportional to i primary secondary you're clubbing those two that's that's not correct okay i hope you got clarity okay on this much confusing part okay people do get confused a lot of students have come come to me with this question hope this has cleared your doubt now the second question which a lot of students again once again will have this doubt which was the question was discussed in the previous video so i'm talking about i'll be talking about that now what's the question the question is this i think uh, let me zoom it a bit. Okay. So, this question already in the previous session. I, I took up this question. Okay. And answer, everybody knows the answer. Motor will attain dangerously high speed. Now, can you just uh, type here? First of all, for the previous transformer thing, is it clear or not? Praveen, Praveen is the one who has started this question, right? So are you clear, Praveen, first of all? Second, those who wanted to know the answer, are you all clear with the answer? With the previous question, I mean, Ohm's law is valid for electrical circuit but transformer or in overall a magnetic couple circuit, but the primary and secondary circuit says it is invalid. Okay. Are you, are you guys clear now? Are you there? Or slept? Or <laughs> gone? Yeah, yes, that's the spirit. We, we find that response. I explained this much. If we don't give that like and response, then from where will I get the energy? 